Hi boys and girls, for our reading activity today, we are going to be a story detective, okay? So before we get started on our detect detectiveness, I don't think that's a word, before we become detectives, let's put our name at the top of the paper, okay? And do you know what today's date is? We did it in our morning meeting. Today, it is the ninth month, the first day of 2020. So it's 9-1-2020. All right, so it gives us a story again. So we're gonna reread this story and answer some of the questions, okay? A crow half dead with thirst came upon a pitcher which had once been full of water. But when the crow put its beak into the mouth of the pitcher, he found that only little water was left in it and that he could not reach far enough down to get at it. He tried and he tried, but at last he had to give up in despair. Then a thought came to him and he took a pebble and dropped it in the pitcher. Then he took another pebble and dropped it into the pitcher. Then he took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. Then he took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. Then he took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. At last, he saw the water mount up near him. And after casting a few more pebbles, he was able to quench his thirst and save his life. So in this story, do you know what despair means? If you don't, that's okay. Despair means to give up hope. So let's write there, give, G-I-V-E, up, U-P, Hope, H-O-P-E. So when he gave up in despair, that means he gave up all hope. All right, so that was a question and we gave the answer. This time they gave us an answer and we need to figure out what the question is. So he was thirsty but did not have any water to drink. So my question would be, why was he not feeling well? So we can say, why was he not well? So W-H-Y was w-a-s not oh whoops you need to say he first he not n-o-t well w-e-l-l -L, question mark so why was he not well he was thirsty but did not have any water to drink all right here's another question how did crow overcome his obstacle how did he overcome his obstacle he found a way, right? He found a way to get all of his water. So we can put that, we can write that here and say he, H-E, found, F-O-U-N-D, A, and way, W-A-Y. He found a way. Remember, he started putting pebbles into the pitcher so that he could get a drink of water. So what does little by little does the trick mean? I think that says exactly what it is, right? Just little things can make all the difference, right? So, and what it said in here was to never give up. And I think that's what this means too. Little by little does the trick. And it also means to never give up. That's right, never give up. N-E-V-E-R, never, give, G-I-V-E, and up, U-P. All right, the last one, there's no question this time, it gives us an answer. He was able to save his life because he did not give up. So what would the question be for that one? So he was able to save his life because he did not give up. What would we, we, we what's that an answer to which question? So let's think, he was able to save his life because he did not give up. So maybe why? Why was he not thirsty? We could maybe ask that. Why was he not thirsty? Because he saved his life because he did not give up. So we can write that. Why was he no longer, L-O-N-G-E-R, thirsty? T-H-I-R-S-T-Y. Why was he no longer thirsty? He was able to save his life because he did not give up. Awesome job, boys and girls, you did so great. We're gonna do a fun math activity next, all right? I'll see you then, bye.